Hello everybody and welcome to the first UDK tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you the first steps that you need to acquire before starting your own game making. UDK is a free application. You can download it from the site udk.com and it is an extension of the Unreal Engine which would cost you a lot of money if you want to start off with that. Now in this tutorial we'll be going through the basics, um, objects, triggers and all that stuff that you need to know before actually making your own game. To begin with, we're going to go to new, new level, midday, and you're going to see the background, sky, the foreground, and the objects in front of you. This is a pretty basic scene right here. To begin off, we're going to start with the really basic stuff that you need to know. At the top, you're going to see the black bar right here. If you click that, you will go to the uh, content browser which you use to uh, drag your objects, your textures, uh, material and many other stuff. To begin off we're gonna start learning the grids first. So to set off your grids you're gonna change this it's gonna be probably default by uh, 32 so you might wanna change it to 4 that's just easier for us. Uh, this is the grid for rotation and the grid for scaling. You don't want to touch that unless you really want to change the um, the rate of changing, but that's uh, another story for now. Next off, we're going to look at the geometry, which is pretty basic stuff. To begin off, this is the cube that you would use. Now, uh, before actually we begin the geometry, I want to talk about the mouse and its functions. Here you can see the mouse selection, dragging, rotation, scaling, and non-uniform scaling. The difference between uh, scaling and the non-uniform one is that if you click on scaling and want to actually uh, make something bigger, it actually does it on a fixed scale on the XYZ axis. Here you can actually change any one of them without affecting the others. For example, you can do this and this. Now, to begin with, we're going to start off with the geometry. This cube, oh by the way, uh, you can always change uh, using the space key. If you click space it just uh, moves itself and changes the mods of the, uh, of the mouse. Okay, so this cube is what I call an empty cube and it is what I use for um, actually changing and creating shapes. For example, if you put this right here and you want to make a, a perfect cube, all you have to do is just click add and you will have a cube. Now it is floating in the air but if you want to take a look on the uh, all the angles all you have to do is just click the right up to, uh, corner right here. In this uh, scenes here you will see the ground which is the red line over here. So this will be the side, the front and the top. So if I want to center this to be exactly on the ground, all I have to do is just drag it until I see that it matches the ground right here. To get back, you click the same button on the scene that you want. All right. Now, we started off with the cube, but we can always change it to circles, um, cones, and drag it down just to see. Oh, uh, one more tip. Uh, if you want to move uh, freely, uh, all you have to do is just uh, keep uh, hold on the right click and the right mouse button and you can always move using the WASD. Alright, so these are the shapes that you can actually assign. These are the ones that you want to like take a look at here. This one it says add the CSG which means uh, adding the object making it existing. This one is actually subtract, subtract it which is removing it of course. These are two are for uh, further uh, future uses I'll show you about later. Now to begin with um, let's say we want to make a circle. Uh, it's not a good looking circle here but anyways. So all you have to do is just click add and if you want to subtract that or delete it all you have to do is just subtract. Alright, now for the properties of each cube, you would need to select the red uh, object again. I'll drag it up more. 
Then you make it a cube. And if you want this cube to edit its properties, it's very simple. You right click on it. You can see the X, Y, Z. You can uh, manipulate that, make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want. You can actually make it also hollow so you can go in it. So if you make it hollow and click build, you would end up with the object being actually not full on the inside, but let me make that perfect. Okay. Now let's say we want to cut inside the object. What we'd have to do is, uh, okay, now I'm clicking space to move to the uh, uniformal scaling, or yeah, it's, yeah, the scaling model. Um, so what you have to do is select whatever you want, how much bigger you want it, and you can then uh, move it, and then we can use, use the subtract method in order to make it like a hole. Oh, well, in, the, in this case, I forgot that it's a hollow again, so I need to make it unhollow and then make it right like that. So you can actually subtract the cube, uh, whatever, however you want. So now, honestly, I myself don't use this method at all um, of the geometry just because I like um, uh, dragging objects into the game and making my own using uh, 3DS. Uh, one second, okay. 3D Cinema is the best uh, choice to make objects, but it's gonna probably take you another uh, tutorial to look at and actually learn that stuff because it's pretty difficult. Uh, next off, so we covered grids. Um, we're gonna start with the um, the lighting. So let's make some cubes. And let's say those cubes happen to make a building. So put this one here, put this one here, and let's see, you want to put something over here. Now what this creates is some shadows and complete darkness at the top. In order to avoid that, we can always click, right click, add actor, and light point. What this light point does is add light, you guessed it. Um, when you add light, and let's say you want to actually change how much light there is, you can always click, right click, and, no, oh, I didn't get that, oh, there it is, okay, the properties. Um, you can always add the radius, make it, uh, much more lighter, let's see, 3000. I can't notice it here because there's not much darkness to go through, but, um, and you can always change whatever you want, the movement, display, there's a lot of stuff you can uh, actually discover yourself. I can't cover in one tutorial. Um, and then, in order to um, run the game, all you have to do is just click run. But before we do that, we have to build the light. Any geometry or light that you build will have to be built. You can always build geometry, lighting, paths and shapes but I always click build all just in case I'm missing anything. So if we click build all, it should not take much. It's pretty simple lighting here. Depends on what computer you have. Is yeah, if you have a fast processor and graphics card, you probably have a fast rendering. Uh, in this case, it's probably just doing its thing. All right. Well, I'll get back. Come on. I'll get back when I uh, finishes the thing. Okay, so here it is done. All you have to do now is click play, and you can actually move around, and you can actually see the light. But um, I personally don't like this game mod here, right here. So click escape, and uh, now we're gonna change the game mode. So what you gotta do is. Go to edit, actually, uh, what was it, uh, view, world properties, uh, game type, you gotta change this to UT Deathmatch. There's many stuff to explore, but I'm gonna go with UT Deathmatch. What this gives you is, uh, basically, I guess it, it's a deathmatch, it's a gun, and has multiple uses with ammo, and you actually become some sort of monster with uh, actually footstep sounds. Okay, next off is 
let's see where is the content thing okay so now here we can see all the objects that come actually with the game um, so for example you got sound waves sound coup, uh textures objects uh, materials and lots of other stuff if I want to go to materials and I let's say uh, uh, some custom here stuff <laughs> Uh, let's see, I want to make this some sort of, uh, uh, let's see, a concrete, maybe, yeah. All I have to do is just crack the cube, and you would get that effect right here. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, let's say I want to add, let's see, some sort of object. What you, we call that static meshes which is like free transform objects so what you're gonna do is select whatever you want for example let's select a tree you can always drag that as I said before you can always click space and make it uniformly bigger on the XYZ axis and then just move it around pretty straightforward let's say I wanna um, you know search for grass I got some grass here but I can't just put it there it, it would take me probably forever to just put it and like fill the whole map if I want to fill the whole map so what I have to do is you would have to use the brush tool or the foliage mod mode um, so what you have to do is cl click that go to content aware uh, or content uh, browser I'm talking about Photoshop here <laughs> then all you have to do is just drag this and then you are free to brush the whole map with the grass. All you have to do is just click a hold control and you can actually select the density as pretty high density there. Still pretty high. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward process. It's not much to do. But this is the pretty basics right here. Next, we're going to try uh, adding objects to the map and actually making some sort of game although it's not going to be functional but just for um, teaching you how to uh, actually drop objects so let's go content browser uh, let's search for wall um, got a variety here let's pick this kind of wall uh, and now we can actually rotate it 90 degrees uh, the other way so that's not a degree. Um, let's make it actually bigger. And when you make it bigger, it actually becomes um, it stays stable on the uh, bottom edge right here, but but it affects like the rest of the um, the object. So that is about good enough. Uh, we can just position it correctly. And all you have to do to uh, make a replica of it you just hold alt and move another side of it which should now here's another thing the reason why I gave you uh, I told you to make this uh, grid at 4 is because if it was like at 32 you would notice that it moves it moves pretty strictly like it's not it's not as smooth but let's say I want to make it at 4 it would be like much more smoother and you have much more control because if you mix these together you're gonna notice some glitch over here so I have to do it almost perfectly like such as that alright uh, now let's position these a little bit better and you can select actually both if you hold control you can select both and click alt again and you can just make more and more walls. Now, um, let's add some sort of object that the player would actually use. Not use, but it would be like the end game um, object. For example, you can, uh, let's see. So I'm gonna use this. Uh, okay, probably this one, the boiler maybe. Uh, 
or let's yeah, right, let's just use that. You can position it, make it bigger. And then just place it anywhere. And if you play this, got a pretty good looking game right here. Alright, that seems good enough. It's a pretty good looking game. And that's about all. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something. Uh, stay tuned for the part 2 tutorial which we will learn uh, more specific stuff such as um, triggers and many other functions that uh, you're going to be looking forward to in order to make your game. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.